This video will review what you've already learned about the atom and isotopes. The unit one, we're going to be talking about nuclear energy. So before we go on, we really need to make sure that we're 100% comfortable with the basic structure of the atom and the language associated with isotopes. The atom is made of three subatomic particles, electrons, protons, and neutrons. The electrons and the protons are very densely compact inside the nucleus and the nucleus is in the center of the atom. The electrons are diffusely dispersed throughout the volume that is the sphere that is the atom. We use symbols uh, commonly accepted E for electron, P for proton, N for neutron. The electron, as you know, has a negative one charge. The proton has a positive one charge, and the neutron ha carries no charge. The um, mass of the electron is, is uh, several thousand times less than the mass of the um, protons and the neutrons. The mass here is given in units of kilograms, but another common unit is the atomic mass unit that's used to describe the mass of the protons, the electrons, and the neutrons. And the uh, neutron is assigned an atomic mass unit of one, a proton is assigned an atomic mass unit of one, and a, an electron is assigned an atomic mass unit of 0 .0005. So you can see why we say that most of the mass for the atom comes from the protons and the neutrons which are in the nucleus. And it's really difficult to wrap your brain around um, how uh, tiny the nucleus is compared to the atomic um, radius. So one way we can do that is think of a baseball stadium and how large a, baseball, a large professional baseball stadium is. Um, and you can imagine that the nucleus is, is in the center of that stadium and is the size of a pea, a green pea. Um, and then the electrons would be just flitting around here like a fly um, in the stadium. And so most of the space within the atom is just empty space. Okay? So that's the image we have when we think about the atom. Okay? Um, one very important distinction as we move along and start talking about nuclear chemistry is to distinguish between the term atomic mass and mass number. This is a, a little square out of a periodic table with for the element chromium. And you see that the mass number is listed, uh, uh, excuse me, the atomic mass, excuse me, the atomic number is listed and right above the elemental symbol and the atomic mass is listed below the symbol. Okay, and so whenever we represent elements on the periodic table, we're really representing an average of all the isotopes of that particular element. Okay, and so in this particular case, chromium can exist um, as four different isotopes. Chromium 50, chromium 52, 53, or 54. But the most abundant isotope is uh, chromium 52 and its abundance is 83.789 percent. That means if you had a sample that had 10 chromium atoms, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, um, 8 of them would be chromium 52 and the other two would be one or the other of those. Okay, and then if you had 100, 80 three of them or 84 of them, depending on which hundred you picked, would be um, chromium 52 and the remainder would be some small fraction of those other three. All right, and so it's um, the atomic mass then is the uh, weighted average of the masses of all the isotopes. The atomic number, of course, is just the number of protons, which is the defining characteristic of um, a particular element. Uh, and then the mass number is the sum of the number of protons plus neutrons in the nucleus. Okay? Okay. So for chromium, what we just looked at, chromium is, let me see, on the periodic table, chromium is right here. So it happened to have a um, 
atomic mass of 52.00 rounded off to the 100th place. That's highly unusual. Normally, um, the uh, atomic masses, excuse me, the atomic mass is 52.00. Normally, the atomic mass is some uh, f uh, fraction in the tenths and hundredths place. Uh, for example, let's look at this one. This is neon, um, and the atomic mass for neon right there is 20.18. Okay, 20.18. All right. So if we look at and investigate neon, we find that neon has three stable isotopes. Um, and they're called neon 20, neon 21, and neon 22. And you'll recall that you must be able to write um, neon, the isotopes of neon using the uh, notation where you put the mass number immediately after the symbol or the name of the element and also in this isotopic notation where um, on the bottom you have the atomic number and on the top you have the mass number. Okay, This is a review from your learning module. All right, So um, you want to be very, very um, good at flipping back and forth between isotopic notation and getting information off the periodic table. Uh, the information that we get for neon off the periodic table is that its atomic number is 10. That is the number of protons uh, in the nucleus is 10. That's the little number above the symbol. And the other information we get would be the, um, the atomic mass, which is 20.18. Okay? But the mass number is going to depend on which isotope you're talking about. The mass number varies. Right, the atomic number stays the same. So in this case, the mass number is 20, 21, or 22. All right, and so on the periodic table, the reported um, uh, atomic mass for neon is 20.18. And we said that that um, atomic mass comes from the weighted average of the isotope. So if I were to collect some neon um, from nature, I would uh, collect, uh, the neon 20 is the dominant isotope, and 90.5% of the neon I collected sample would be in the form of neon 20, 0.27% would be in the form of neon 21, and 9.23% would be in the form of neon 22. So I could actually predict, based on these relative abundances, what the um, atomic mass should be because the atomic mass is going to be the weighted average of all of the isotopes, stable isotopes that exist in nature. So um, what that means is the uh, weighted average would be the percent, which is 90 divided by 5, so it would be 0.905 times um, the mass number for neon 20 is 20 plus uh, the percent, so that would be 0.27 divided by 100, which is 0.0027 times the mass number for neon 21 is 21, plus 0 0.0923, because 9.23% 9, 9 would be 9.23 divided by 100, which is 0 0.0923 times 22. And if I do the math there, I end up with a value of 20.18 um, for the... Um, atomic mass units or um, yeah, for this particular um, element, uh, uh, neon. So you'll need to do this on, on a homework problem, is be able to correctly predict the um, atomic mass based on the weighted average of the stable isotopes. One other thing I want to tell you real quick here is the isotopes of hydrogen are unique. Normally, uh, we name isotopes like neon 20, neon 21. We name them with the elemental name followed by the mass number. Hydrogen is unique in that the, um, the isotopes actually have names. Hydrogen 1, the most common, of course, is just called hydrogen. But hydrogen 2 is also referred to as deuterium. And hydrogen 3 is also referred to as tritium. So if you see those words deuterium or tritium, you just need to know that they're different isotopes of hydrogen. So um, it can be called hydrogen 2, but most people refer to it as deuterium. And you can see um, the data associated with those isotopes of hydrogen. The other thing I want to make sure you all are very good at is looking at the isotopic notation like this 
Um, this is called carbon-14 and being able to identify the number of protons, electrons, and neutrons. As long as you remember that in the isotopic notation the atomic number is in the bottom, then you know that there's six protons and um, unless otherwise indicated we assume that these atoms are neutral. So that means there'd have to be six electrons and then the uh, mass number is the sum of the protons plus the neutrons. So 14 minus 6 would equal 8 neutrons. Okay, so you should be able to um, identify protons, electrons, and neutrons uh, for each element given the isotopic notation. This is uranium-235. Um, you should be able to do the same calculation and iodine-131, two very common isotopes that we'll be looking at later in this unit. So go ahead and make sure you can uh, do that and if you can't, ask questions. Okay. So in summary, these are the things you need to know about atomic structure before we get into the nuclear chemistry. All atoms are composed of electrons, protons, and neutrons. Check. The atomic number is the number of protons in the nucleus. Check. For a neutral atom, the number of electrons must equal the number of protons. Check. Ions exist when the protons and electrons do not match up. We'll talk about that later, so don't get yourself confused. And when we get into the nuclear chemistry, uh, we're going to be talking about um, neutral atoms, uh, in particular the nuclei of neutral atoms. So don't get yourself worked up about um, cations and anions yet. Um, you should know that neutrons have mass but no charge, check, and that the isotopes of elements have the same number of protons but different numbers of neutrons. Important. Um, finally, you need to be very familiar with this isotopic symbols, uh, what all this means. This is the elemental symbol. X is the elemental symbol. Z is the atomic number, number of protons. A is the mass number. We are ready to get started on nuclear chemistry.